17th this morning. It's the third season here for Iowa. This is my first time out this year. I pulled a third and fourth season tag this year for shotgun. So I've got today, i got Sunday to hunt. And then for fourth season, I've got Wednesday through Sunday off. But we're out here in a field that I've hunted before. Last year I had three jakes come in here and there's turkey tracks all over. And there's tons of birds around God went away this morning. I think it's probably 615, 620. But we're gonna see if we can get something called in here. My original spot I was gonna go to wasn't mowed off. I haven't been down to the scout this year. Just haven't had the time, but I think I'm in between a couple sets of birds and I know where they kind of like to go based upon where I've hunted in the past here, but we're going to give it a shot and see if we can put something on the ground here, so stay tuned. I just freaking shot a beautiful tom. Oh my gosh. My heart is racing, man. I'm shaking. This is literally, I've gone turkey hunting only a few times by myself. First time I ever went out turkey hunting, I went with a buddy. And I had no idea what we were doing. You know, we, we sat in a ground blind. It was kind of rainy, and uh, saw one turkey all morning. I was kind of discouraged. I was like, I knew there were birds around. There's a lot of birds here. But the second time I went out, my uncle was is a great turkey hunter, and I was fortunate enough to have him take me out turkey hunting. And he's also the guy that got me into deer hunting. And you know, I'm so thankful for my opportunities. I'm a waterfowl hunter by nature. But, you know, I've had the opportunity throughout the years to, to try and, and do new things this way. And, you know, for me, being outdoors, there's nothing like it. The second time we went out, we doubled up on two toms that were fighting in the middle of this field. And then the third time I went out, I went by myself. I was in my kayak. It was the last day of, of fourth season. I guess this was, I guess last year I hunted a couple times. 
but never had any luck. You know, never saw any birds besides when I was walking in or out in, in the afternoon and, and all that. And I actually, my last day out of the season last year, I was going to get my kayak and I flipped my kayak on myself and I, I dumped a whole bunch of water into me and my kayak, my gun went in the water, my decoys, my backpack, and I went down this channel. But this is literally my first set of third season. I, I couldn't be happier. You know, I'm honestly speechless. I, I was hunting, and I'll show you here in a little bit, I was hunting right around the corner earlier this morning, and I they had some birds come off to the south of me, which I think they were jakes or, you know, really young toms. But then, you know, as I was sitting there, I was like, okay, well, I'm kind of out of the way. I didn't get any interest. And I'm like, there's birds that I know move along this corridor. I'm going to go ahead and move over here. And this, this one had been gobbling. And I was like, all right, he's gobbling. I'm going to give it a shot. I said, I'm not a very good caller by any means. So I went ahead and I, I did a couple little, little clucks on the thing and on my box call. And he had gobbled right before it. So I kind of was talking to him a little bit. Well, then I went quiet, and the next time that he went and gobbled, he was closer. And <laughs> I know this sounds weird, but guys, YouTube's a really great tool to, to come out and find new tricks and stuff on, on turkey hunting. Because I, I have no idea, you know. And so he, the next time he gobbled, he was closer to me, and I'm like, oh, I want to gobble back. But everything that I had, had listened to and I had read and everything had told me that don't call. If they gobble once and you call and they come closer to you, don't call again. Over calling is something that I know I did right away from the start. I've had birds around me before within, you know, 100 yards and I never got them close enough. You know, I think that's because I was over calling. Every time they gobble, I'd answer. Well, you're giving them that the intention that that hen's going to come to them instead of that Tom having to come to you. And I'm just running an avian X hen decoy and then I don't even know what my Jake is. I run a Jake, that's what I was told and what I read everywhere. But this thing came in, I saw him come out the corner. I think I got my GoPro footage up top too. I sure hope I do because this thing literally came in full strut. He was beating and drumming and I've never seen it in person, let alone 15 yards. I mean, here he is. He's laying right there in front of me. I, I, I can't believe it. I am so fortunate and blessed with this opportunity to get out here in the woods have the opportunity to enjoy nature you know God's creation it, it makes you take a second back and understand really what's going on in life everybody there's the hustle and bustle of what's going on but you get out in the woods see God's creation you take the opportunity to understand what he gives us and heck I'm so excited I'm gonna get some fresh turkey breasts and uh, probably gonna bread them up and try to toss them on the grill but I don't know, we'll see her, maybe we'll, we'll see her, but I'm so pumped. I, uh, I took, made the move this morning underneath this, this little tree right here, and literally within 20 minutes, if that, time just flew, um, I have a Tom on the ground. So, so blessed. Can't wait to get back out for four season. I'm freaking pumped. I am freaking pumped. One shot Smackdown awesome 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 stuff so thanks for tuning in guys this is colton with chasing iowa outdoors stay tuned hopefully we can get another gobbler on the ground for four season thanks for tuning in mm -hmm.